This is not a forest. This is a tree plantation. It used to be an old growth redwood forest. But the only evidence of that now is this giant redwood stump. So did that become the mother tree of all the trees around that we're looking at, Lathrop? You wish it would, right? But in this case, no. This is, a, like you say, a redwood stump. But all these trees around us are Douglas fir. They planted Douglas fir in this area in much greater quantities than were here historically. You, we also know that redwoods are incredibly resilient, right? They, are, they grow back from the stump, they sprout, they're very resistant to fire, all these things. Well, in this case, this tree tried to grow back. Here's the sprout. The one sprout that grew off of this redwood stump was doing okay for a little while, but it's actually dead. We planted so many Douglas firs around them, it was outcompeted by the neighboring trees. In the Western US, most of our Christmas trees are Douglas firs, and they're full and green all the way to the ground. But in these dense dog hair thicket tree plantations, the same species has dead, bare, lower branches. Why do you think this is? Drop your guess in the comments and I'll reply to each one. Our job now is to return this back to being a redwood dominant forest. Do we like Douglas firs? Of course, Douglas firs are an important part of this ecosystem, but they shouldn't be dominating this area the way they are now. So as part of Redwood Risings, what we'll, we're going to do in this area is thin out these Douglas firs, make room for the redwoods that are still in here to grow better, and maybe even plant a few redwoods to make up for ones like this that died due to the past logging practices. All this land now is Redwood National and State Park, but it used to be timberland. It was bought in this condition, and so we're gonna restore it so that there's more than just a 4.6% old growth for you to come visit. In 30, 40, 50 years from now, there's gonna be a lot more beautiful, diverse Redwood forest for you to come visit because Redwood Rising is taking these industrialized forests, overplanted industrial forests, and turning them into a biodiverse place that you will love to inherit. Curiosity for nature is contagious. Catch it, spread it.